anyone that's been out there in the property investment market for a while and they've bought two, three, four, five, six investment properties, they know that they've gotten up to a point where lenders start saying that they've got rental reliance. Okay, rental reliance is a policy that banks have that, that says that you've got too much exposure to the property market and more than 50% of your total income is via the rental market on the properties that you've got as opposed to your income that's coming in. So a lot of people think that this actually impacts you as far as borrowing unlimited through trusts. Okay, and it, and it does potentially impact you, which is why uh, you need to get to a point first where you're setting up the corporate trust earlier than what you normally would. So I'll give you an example. Let's say um, you got a typical household income of 200000 which is uh, not a high income, but 200000 you can have two uh, teachers that get that, which is great. I think it applies to a lot of people in a lot of cities. And then um, you're in a situation where you built up a portfolio and you've got over a hundred grand of rental income coming in. All right, so hundred grand of rental income coming in could be anywhere from, let's say, um, two to three houses with granny flats on the back. If you've got eight to nine hundred dollars rent coming in between um, each property, um, so let's just use that as an example. So you're in a position where you're at the stage where you're you're right on the border of rental reliance. Okay, and uh, you're in a position where if you keep on borrowing, um, the only way to do that is to increase your income because the lenders start capping you. So in these kind of examples, as long as you're setting up the corporate trust early enough, so in this same example, um, you'd be buying all new properties in corporate trust, then you're, you're not actually maxed okay so so I'm very similar I'm very close to rental reliance right now but then my last two properties um, I actually purchased quite recently and then what I did was because they were bought recently I refinanced them out of my personal name I put them into a corporate trust and then I paid the stamp duty and the um, and the CGT um, for both of the properties to put them into a corporate trust and then from there um, if we go to certain lenders and, and bring my portfolio across as long as the new buyers are in separate corporate trusts we can then go to an accountant and then get uh, letters to say that each trust is profitable and then it starts allowing us to exclude, uh, exclude the two properties that I put in two separate corporate trusts which means that they get taken out of the equation and the borrowing power goes up then. All right, so that's essentially what we do. So rental reliance is a good little policy because um, because uh, lenders don't want you getting in a position where you are putting too much into property in your personal name or in your joint name. Um, and the bigger you get, you've got to start using stru um, trust structures and I guess the, the thing that I like about this kind of strategy is it's always using a qualified accountant and what you'll find is in this space that a lot of accountants say that they'll do it but they're actually not doing this personally themselves and they don't have any clients doing it so as soon as they start getting these letters from um, the lenders saying you know we need you to sign off and say that each trust is profitable then they start balking and they don't want to sign um, as part of you know the process for you to get the loan so really it took me about 18 months to find the best group of accountants and what you find in the accounting space is it's really tough You've got the PricewaterhouseCoopers, the Ernst & Youngs, and the, the big boppers, the, the top four accountancy firms. All right, they, they handle the high net worths, you know, your 20, your 30, your 50, your 100 million type clients. All right, and, and they charge for it, which is great. So if you get to that size, you can definitely use those kind of services. And then you've got your kind of your lower services where maybe even if you find a good mum and pop accountant in your suburb or your area, they might have a couple of high net worths that have one, two or three properties and a hell of a lot of super. So they, 
they're used to dealing with large clients and potentially their biggest clients are some of the small business owners. But very rarely do they get the small business owners that want to chuck a whole lot of money into, into a property. So you find that if you start asking them the direct questions, they, they actually don't have the client base that you potentially want to be. So then that's, that's essentially the problem that I had. Um, so I had to find a, a firm that, you know, um, not only uh, was doing it themselves, so the principal, and they needed to tell me intricately what that they were doing and how big that they had gotten, but also how, how many clients they had. And I've essentially, we've I found a firm that, that probably has between three to 5,000 clients doing this actively with principals in the business. Um, there's like seven or eight principals and some of them have between 20 to 40 properties and some of them are doing multiple developments um, and complex stuff and, and you know doing large commercial stuff as well, which starts getting quite complex which I like. So um, so yeah, so even if you go down the path of, you know, uh, using an accountant, you need to be finding the right accountant. All right, so this video is just on rental reliance, what some of the policies that the banks have, how they try and think that they're protecting you, um, but then, you know, how we get around that with corporate trusts, making sure you're linked with the right accountant, and how that adds value to your overall process moving forward. And I think if you find the right accountant uh, that's been there and done that, with the right broker that's been there and done that, you're getting the right advi advice and structures, um, and that you know, reduces the risk a lot because you're actually dealing with people that have been there and done that and, and know what they're doing. All right, so I hope that this video adds a lot of value to me. You can book an appointment with me in the link below. Hit the like button, hit the comment button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, then bye.